Hello to people! This is Matt Fisher back with another exciting video for you guys today, as always. And today's video is going to be something a little bit different. It's going to be part of a new video in a set of series. Uh, actually part of a bigger conversation I want to start having on my channel, and that is security, cyber security. Uh, every day you hear new reports of people's phones getting hacked, their information being stolen, them being DOS, doxed, you have companies with gigantic data breaches, credit card information being stolen. It, it's a pretty serious threat, and it's becoming increasingly more serious each and every day. So what I want to start doing is showing you guys sort of not only how these threats work, but how to protect yourselves from these threats too. So this new series that I want to start is pretty basic. It's just going to show you some of the better ways to secure your devices. So your iPhone, your iPad, uh, your Android devices, your PCs, your laptops, your Macs, all that stuff. So this is going to be episode number one in this set of series, and this is going to be iPhone Security 101. So we're at our iPhone, and these changes will work across iOS devices. Uh, you guys may notice that some of these features are already enabled on my phone and some of them I can't actually enable and that's because I use this phone for work too. So some of the features and settings they determine, they have some control over that. So I'm going to at least talk about all the settings I think that should be changed but I might not be able to necessarily change all of them myself. So let's go ahead and jump into settings. And the first setting I want to talk about is Touch ID and Passcode. So. Want to jump into there? The first thing you should do is disable Touch ID to unlock your phone. And this might be a little like a conspiracy thing or depending on how you feel about the police, but technically the police can request a search warrant for a fingerprint for you to unlock your phone. They can't do that for a passcode. So if your phone can be unlocked by Touch ID, the police could request a warrant and have you unlock your phone for them. If you just have the passcode set, they can't do that. So my first recommendation would be to turn off the iPhone unlock for Touch ID. The second thing to do would be to enable your, a passcode if you don't have it already. And if you do have it enabled, you should definitely make sure that it's alphanumeric and not a uh, four digit one like I see here. You wanna do custom alphanumeric so you can make it anything you want and that's gonna make it more complicated. So if someone does try to hack your phone, it will be much more difficult for them to actually break through. The next setting you should touch is disabling lock screen access. So these settings right here, this is all information and stuff that can be done from the lock screen. And you might not want some of this personal information being displayed like what I have to do today or what I have to do tomorrow or being able to access uh, my wallet or being able to access my devices on my network if maybe I had dropped my phone, you know, outside my apartment or something like that. So I would highly recommend you turn all of these off because you don't want any personal information accessible from the lock screen. Now to add to that, in iOS 10, they allowed you to add widgets to the lock screen. So you wanna go through here and make sure that you don't have anyone's uh, displaying personal info. So maybe I don't want what's up next on my calendar, or maybe I don't want my calendar preview, or maybe I have uh, something here that's tied to my bank and it's showing my current balance or something like that. You wanna make sure you remove all of these widgets that might have personal information on them. Now let's go back into settings and let's go to the privacy settings. So in the privacy settings, these are all of the apps that are being used by other apps. So what I mean by that is if we go to microphone, we can see that the microphone is being allowed with Twitter, Snapchat, and ProCam. So I would recommend for you guys to go through all of these apps and make sure there isn't an app in here that shouldn't have access. So if I'm seeing that I don't know, Twitter or whatever has access to my calendar. Why does Twitter need access to my calendar? If that was the case, I'd want to remove that because there's no reason for Twitter to know what events I have coming up next for work or whatnot. So go through all of these, make sure you don't have any unauthorized access. And the next thing we want to do after that, it's still in privacy, is to disable tracking. So if we go into location services and we scroll all the way down to the bottom and we go to system services, Let's go to the bottom of this list, frequent locations. I already have it turned off, but if this was enabled, 
what you would see here is a giant list of all the places that my iPhone knows I've checked in with. So that could be Wi-Fi spots, cell phone towers, anything. If it knows that I, you know, parked my butt somewhere, it will appear in this list. So what you want to do is turn it off like I have and clear history. Now, sort of jumping back to that earlier idea of not displaying personal information on the lock screen, the same thing should hold true for notifications. I wouldn't want a notification to appear on my lock screen while I lost my phone that's displaying some personal information or any information about me whatsoever. So you want to go into the notification section and you want to go down to maybe messages, for example, and at the bottom, show previews, maybe you don't wanna show the previews. Maybe you want to turn them off completely or only show them when they're unlocked or when your phone's unlocked. And the same thing for mail too. Maybe I don't want any mail notifications whatsoever. Maybe I don't want that preview being displayed. I can go into the mail settings and actually dictate if I had you know, an account on here, how many lines I want displayed in the preview. So maybe I don't want any lines or I only want one line. So making sure that the notifications that I'm getting on my phone also aren't displaying personal information. And lastly, arguably the two most important ones are enabling find my iPhone and two factor authentication. So in the iCloud settings right here is find my iPhone. And you would think that you might not want to turn on find my iPhone because you wouldn't want people to be able to find your iPhone or find your location. But finding your iPhone, at least the service that Apple provides, does a lot more than just locate your iPhone. It gives you the ability to completely wipe your phone. So if I didn't have Find My iPhone on and I lost my phone, I wouldn't have any way to be able to wipe it. But if Find My iPhone is enabled, I can log into iCloud, find my phone, I can either choose to lock it down and make it so that I can only unlock it from my iCloud account, or I can wipe it completely. I have a lot more options about what I wanna do with my phone or how I wanna protect it after I've lost it if Find My iPhone is enabled. And then in the password and security section of the iCloud settings, you wanna make sure that two-factor authentication is turned on. God forbid someone knew what your password was to unlock any of your devices. You wanna make sure you have that extra layer of security that just because they know your password, then they can't get into your device. They actually physically need to have it. So those are just a handful of ways or a handful of native settings on the phone that you can tweak to lock it and make it even more secure. In a future episode, I'm probably gonna talk about specific apps you can use to make yourself more secure while using your phone. But like I said, that'll be in a later video. So that's the video that I have for you guys today. Just some ways to better protect your iPhone. This is a working series, so if you have any feedback, feel free to leave me a comment down below. But other than that, guys, if you'd like to see more like this or know when the next episode in this series comes out, then click on that subscribe button. But other than that, enjoy the rest of your day and take care.